U.S. Army is directing troops to remove scripture etched into their military scopes. The Pentagon wanting them to block access to the Southern Baptist website. I mean, when is it the end? And these groups are rising up while the Christians stay silent. Who could be court-martialed? That could be the new law of the land for our armed forces, thanks to a proposal by a... Look at the perversion of the This guy's hitting me, that's called abuse. I got on the sidewalk now. Hey, that's... Hey, hey, you can't do that. This is a violation. I'm going to tell you why. Okay. Okay. Are you coming at me? Oh. 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 number two. In North Carolina at Western Piedmont Community College, told they weren't allowed to sell Christmas trees if it was called Christmas trees. They wanted to call them holiday trees. They didn't think they'd be killed, and that changes everything. That's, that has brought a great wave of, of, of tongue biting, of self censorship, of, of quite a lot of hypocrisy. And it was taken away from you, and you were jailed, and you were out. You were charged with breach of peace. When you walked over there, so the police department is not to silence the peaceful speaker, the Christians, but to, uh, to silence the hecklers. And what the police did here is they essentially effectuated the, uh, the hecklers' veto, and, and that's a problem. And, and instead, we're well, we spoke to three of the four people who took their legal battle to the European Court. Nadia Ueda, the British Airways employee. I feel that Christians are marginalised in the workplace. Other faiths are allowed to physically manifest their beliefs. I'm not allowed to manifest mine, and I think that needs, still needs addressing. Here, we have to really get a sense of perspective on what is happening. What have the English courts said? The English courts have said this that your freedom to manifest your faith is your freedom to resign. Well, of course, that's no freedom at all. A member of staff who wore a cross and claimed she was sacked because she wouldn't take it off on us because it breached um, their uniform policies. Now, a lot of people be saying, is that really a big deal? Should this really be going to... A good Friday, we had a employee of uh, San Diego County come to our house and inform us that the Bible study that we were having was a religious assembly and in a violation of the code in the, the county. And apparently... It's a regrettable situation. Um, I was not successful thus far. Um, and so the law remains as it is, which I think is a regrettable position for those who hold a very conscientious view. Then it was, uh, they said it was because of health and safety. And in response, uh, Shirley Chaplin said, OK, well, I'll, I'll put it on a magnetic, magnetic class so that if it gets pulled it will come straight up. She agreed, she agreed to make some concessions, but that was not good enough uh, for them and the health and safety policy has not been applied uniformly. So for other forms of religious dress, for example, headscarves that attach with large brooches, they've uh, still been allowed. So there's an, an asymmetry here, it's not been applied fairly across the board.